Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Hot Foreign Women Now Stealing American Men. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Now, let's get started. So how and why are hot foreign women now stealing American men and doing it so often and with such ease and regularity? Well, that's a very interesting question and we're going to tell you why and how it's happening. We're now living in a time where many American men are losing interest in dating. It used to be that they were losing interest in marrying, but now things have changed. They've gone to the next level and deteriorated so badly that they're also it, uh, losing interest in dating American women. Why is that? Well, because a lot of men are feeling that they're being underappreciated, exploited, disrespected, and they're feeling being taken advantage of on a routine basis. You know, so how many times have these guys gone on a date and, you know, purchased a meal for, you know, for their date and not even heard thank you at the end of the deal? At the end of the meal, I should say. So, so what's happening as a result of this phenomenon? Well, I'll tell you. American men are discovering, get ready for this, foreign women. They're going offshore and traveling to foreign countries where they're dis discovering incredibly beautiful foreign women who are more than happy to meet and date them. You may think, well, aren't women like that just chasing American men for green cards? Well, here's the really interesting part. A lot of these women don't even want to leave their home countries and come to America after they begin a relationship with a man. A lot of them just want to stay in their home country with their new American man. American men who meet beautiful women in Mexico, Costa Rica, Brazil, the Philippines, South America, and Eastern Europe, well, they just want to remain in those countries after they meet somebody special. Why is that? Well. All they have to do is watch the news to see how American culture is becoming more and more problematic. You know, problematic isn't a strong enough word. It's collapsing. It's deteriorating. It is, it's deteriorating to the point where it's becoming circus-like. Uh, American culture values family less and less. It's destroying many of the traditions and beliefs that have once made this country great. American men see this too, and more and more of them are heading offshore uh, to find a woman uh, to build a conventional and traditional family and lifestyle with. To find a woman who's a real woman that loves her family. And guess what? They're finding tons of those women. The important part is how surprised American men are to find super feminine, kind, affectionate women in these countries who really value them and who respect them and who support them. And guess what? Most of them are faithful. <laughs> Not all, but most of them. So the next question becomes, how hard is it to find somebody like that? Well, it's like anything else worthwhile. It's difficult, but if you put in the time and the effort, you can eventually find someone of quality. Someone with character, someone with real value. One thing to keep in mind is that in some countries and cultures, if you marry the woman, then you also marry her family. And you know what that means. It means you have to support the family. If you're not able to do that, then they'll complain and whine and try and sabotage your marriage with their daughter. So how do you screen for all of that? Well, if the amount of financial help that they need uh, from you each month is trivial, then it may not really matter that much. But if it's significant and if it busts your budget, uh, then you may want to reconsider the entire plan. You're going to have to do the math and decide for yourself. Just remember, there are so many other parts of the world where you don't have to financially support the family that you should probably consider that in your equation as well, that in your search. Another thing to keep in mind is the importance of protecting yourself financially and legally. In some places, like the Philippines, you can't even legally purchase and own a home on your own. You can pay for it, but the majority of the home has to be owned and controlled by your Filipino wife. And that's just the way it is. 
one thing that is certain, and that is that a lot of American men who do go overseas often refuse to come back. They just don't want the headaches of dating in the U.S. Thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we uh, upload a new episode. Thank you, and we shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye.